What's going on guys? I've got here a 2005 Ford Freestyle and I'm using this car to point out to you the location of the important fuses and the relays and the circuit breaker for your power windows. So we're gonna begin by heading under the hood. This is where we will find a 30 amp J case fuse. So we open up this cover by lifting up on this tab here. And we're looking at fuse number 30, which is a 30 amp fuse located right here. Now the role of this fuse is to provide power to the driver's side window motor. So it sends power directly to that and it sends that power at all times. You can check to see if this fuse is good by looking in through it um, and as you can see that is what a good fuse looks like. So yeah definitely check that out and let's move inside the car. There are some additional fuses uh, there's a circuit breaker and there is a relay and while you cannot directly access the relay I can show you how to troubleshoot it so we're gonna pop down here now with this fuse box cover you're supposed to be able to just grab it and pull it to you but sometimes the hooks over here on the side can get stuck and when you try to push them out of the way they can break so that's what happened to me the little hooks broke now this is the circuit breaker it's a lot like a fuse except when it blows it resets itself supposedly you also cannot visually inspect it to see if it's good what a lot of people do if they suspect that their circuit breaker is bad they'll find a fuse that will fit this profile if you go that route make sure you get a 30 amp fuse as this is a 30 amp circuit breaker. Now this sends power to the accessory relay. And that relay gets turned on when the car is on or when the key is in the accessory position. And while the relay is built into this whole assembly piece, so you can't directly access it to see if it's working, but what you can do is check to see if the fuse that it's powering is working. So this fuse right here, 10 amp fuse when the car is on this is supposed to receive power from that relay which gets its power from the circuit breaker and this sends power to the actual switch so the window switch gets power from that you can check to see if it's receiving power at the exposed metal part of the fuse so you can see here there's exposed metal on either side check with a voltmeter or a test light to see if you're getting power there if you're not getting power there, then it's likely that either your circuit breaker has failed or your accessory relay is not coming on. Uh, another troubleshooting step, you know, every time you open and close a door, you're flexing all of the wires that are in that wiring harness there. And occasionally they can break over time. Uh, what I do to check for that is I'll hold the switch in a certain position. So let's say my driver's side motor is not working. I'll hold it down or I'll hold it up and while I'm holding it, I'll start to open and close the door. And if there's any particular position in which I can put the door where it starts to roll up and down, then that's giving me a hint that maybe I have a broken wire in there. Uh, further troubleshooting beyond that, you know, you're going to have to start popping off door panels, checking to see if your window motors are receiving power or a ground. Um, so yeah, I hope that this at least was a helpful starting point for you in troubleshooting the power windows. Please do let me know if you have any questions uh, and also if you have any advice. Thank you for watching.